Welcome to Change, sponsored by the Barn of Schomburg, located at 231 Civic Drive, where nutritious meals, friendly peers, and enjoyable activities are available during the week under the guidance of Marina Lovovich. My name is Rosemary Colbert. I'm married to Dennis, and we've been living in Schomburg for 28 years. I can't believe it's that long already. <laughs> and today our show is going to be about retirement and what to do after retirement. And now we'll have our guests introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Fran Rogus. I live in Mount Prospect, and I love Schomburg and the barn. I'm very faithful to the barn. I used to be in Rosemary's place with change, and I loved every moment. Uh, I have four children and a big black dog, and I'm a widow, and that's how I came to the barn, to heal. Please, if you lose a spouse, come meet with us. Hi, my name is Elspeth Schindel, and I uh, had the pleasure to move back to Schaumburg 29 years ago. I was born and raised in Germany, and uh, I had three siblings, and most of the time we had the bare essentials and make do, especially during the war, which I remember well, and after the war. But that turned out a good lesson because it served me well for my entire adult life. In 19... When did you come here? In 1958. I was seven months pregnant with my son and I had a three-year-old daughter. I lost my daughter 17 years ago, so, so my uh, son is the only living relative oh. because I left my family back, back in, in Germany. Germany. And in 1972, I had the courage to file for divorce, to get out of a very abusive marriage, and it turned my whole life around. And now you're in Schaumburg, enjoying now I'm life. I'm Schaumburg, and I always wanted to move back to Schaumburg, and I succeeded to do that in uh, 1990. Yeah. And now we'll have Meg introduce herself. Good morning. I'm Meg Fick. I grew up in Chicago. And I moved out to uh, Hoffman Estates in 1968 with my husband. I have two children, a girl, Sherry, and a boy, Bobby. And I really like it out here, and I'm glad that I moved out here. And I love the barn. I think everybody should try it once that's retired. Mm -hmm. There's some really nice people there. I met a lot of them, and I really love going there. So, well, it, okay, so today our program is about retirement. So now the question is when, why, and what happened that you, made you retire? How long have you been retired? Oh, a very long time, um, <laughs> actually. Uh, Did you have plans before you retired? I sort of planned. However, I had gone for a free meal with doctors and fractured my knee, and that ended my... Career? Career. Um, I haven't let any grass grow under my feet. <laughs> I'm always busy, and um, I love retirement. And, of course, you do a lot of your activities in Schomburg? Yes, I yes. do. That's okay. why I love Schomburg. Yes. Uh, Mount Prospect, unfortunately, does not have much to do for seniors. And that's one reason why a lot of people in Schomburg, I don't know if it's preordained that they retire because they live in Schomburg, but you do, if, you don't, if you're bored in Schaumburg, it's your own fault. That's very true. How about you? I retired from Motorola. I looked oh. into early retirement four years before I picked my retirement date. And I worked over 45 years. And I wanted to have time for myself. And I hoped to be able to travel. So I retired at the end of 1997 with 62. And, and plan uh, to retire? I joined the uh, senior group at St. Alexis Hospital. Oh. Befriended one of the members, and we ended up traveling for 20 years. Wow. Wonderful. So wow. I... Th so you've been enjoying retirement? I certainly do. Yes. In 2002, I did the uh, Citizen Police Academy oh, and yes. became an alumni member. I'm still a member. 
We're very active in the community. Well, now I know they volunteer at a lot of places, and we're going to get to that. But oh, first, okay. I want to hear about Meg now. Why she retired, and and how long, and why, and okay, I was um, working at a store that I didn't especially care for, but I stayed there seven years, and I was like wanted to get out of there. So as soon as I found out I could retire, I did right away. Oh. So I'm real happy that I did that. I've been retired for nine years, and it's just wonderful. I love being retired. Did you know you were going to retire when you did it, or was it no, a spur of the moment? No, really, but it's like, yeah. I just had to. I was yeah. just... Uh, and you haven't been sorry since. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love retirement. I mean, I love the freedom. Mm -hmm. yep. I do so many activities. Like, I go to the barn a lot. Well, now, see, we have a lot of things to do in Schaumburg, but how did you become aware of them? I mean, did you hear, was it word of mouth? Did you read it in the paper? Um, it was word of mouth. A dear friend of many years that I used to work with, when my husband passed away, she said, Fran, it's time to heal. And I can't think of a better place to go than the barn. And I said, I had raised horses and dogs. Oh. <laughs> and I thought, hey, barn, oh, perfect for me. There's the nature center. <laughs> Everybody says, no, there's no animals, really. There's no animals. There's people, mm -hmm. wonderful people. So you and were coming here since, to, to the barn since Karen was there. Yes. Yes, he's been going uh, a long time. Lovely woman also. Mm -hmm. um, I got hooked into a lot of activities, a volunteer. Oh, do volunteer. Yeah, really. that was our ne my next question. Oh, do, do any volunteer. of you volunteer? And um, yes, you do heal. Yes, I okay. highly recommend mm -hmm. it. Wonderful and, people. And how about you, Elspeth? No. Well, like I mentioned, you I traveled. joined the senior group mm -hmm. at the hospital. That was senior friends too, wasn't it? It used to be yeah, senior, senior friends. friends. It was a national organization right. when it was Columbia Hospital. Mm -hmm. oh. And uh, six years ago, the hospital dissolved our group, mm -hmm. and it was a total void for me. Right. I miss it to this day because mm -hmm. I did patient visits for 12 years. And uh, I volunteered here at the uh, Prairie Center for many years. I volunteered for the township. I volunteered at Gigi's Playhouse. Oh. And they changed the procedures, so I was really not, besides CPS, I didn't do much volunteering. And then I talked to uh, Marina at the uh, scam prevention presentation. And Our Marina? And Our that's Marina. how you came to the barn. And I said, I'll try the barn, and I'm so pleased with that group. Well, that it is, is such a wonderful news. group of yes, people. Yes, it is. And it really feels, fills the void. Yes, that yes the senior group. And we have so it many activities left. there. I, yes. we do, we're very blessed with, with all the things we have to do in Schomburg. How about you, Meg? How did you find out about the things going on in Schomburg? Well, actually, it was my son. Oh, good for him. Yeah. He said, Mom, you know, you don't have a lot of friends right now and you need to It's hard to make the adjustment, the especially day. the way you, what you said about when you retired. Yeah. Yeah. So um I didn't take I didn't take too much in the end. I just, you know, it was something that he needed to say. And so you took the initiative and um, you decided? Actually I went for a blood test in Hoffman State. Oh. And it was the um, nurse that told me about the barn and how many activities they have and thought maybe I might like to go there. Yeah. The nurse in Hoffman Estates told you about the barn? Yeah. Well, isn't she nice? Yeah, she was really nice. You had never heard of it prior to no, that? No. Okay. Well, actually, my son was still there when he was in high school. They had the, um, they have the, uh, for the teenagers, they have a teen Oh, party. yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, they do, yes, and yes. He used to go there when, mm -hmm. you know, when he was in high school. He, play ping pong and different. You know, it's so ironic because they have the senior, you know, the right. kids downstairs the and the way. seniors yeah. and it's seniors and seniors, you know, and yeah. it's all, oh, yeah. you know, it can be a little confusing. We go upstairs and they go downstairs. Keeps us active. Yes. Well, did, yeah, wonderful. well, that was my next question now. Did you do anything when you were working? Do you do anything that you did while you were working? No. No. How no. about you? No? 
all a new adventure. Everything is new. Not too okay. much, really. I was working so much that I really didn't have time for it. Yeah. No, you didn't, yeah. So, and do you see any of the people that you used to work with? Do you still have, get together yes. for, yes, Certainly. oh, and that's then, nice. I go to that store and I see people that I worked with and they're really happy to see me. Is, yeah. it, close, is it close to where you live, this store? Yeah, where in, you? it's in um, Streamwood. Oh, it is. So you had, you, you were close working, so mm -hmm. it was just a matter of the atmosphere or the environment that, well, that you... It was supervisors mostly. Yeah. Yeah, it usually is. Yeah, yeah it usually is. Nice. Well, now, do, what do you do for, for enjoyment besides the barn? I have joined the board of uh, Displains. I wander. Oh, I good, wander good. All over. So, a uh, board of the Displains Garden Club and um, a quilting group, a historical society in Mount Prospect for quilting. Wow. And uh, I just keep very busy, and I think our mind and body both. Well, that out. was my another thing. Do you do anything to keep your mind active? Do, Absolutely. Do you read? Does, do any of you read? I love to read and I love to do crossword puzzles. Good for you. I do the crossword puzzles while I'm watching TV during commercials. So I don't why? go and get a can of beer. <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah, that's what I do too. I, 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 uh, I do crosswords, I read, I sew. Yeah. Uh, do any yes. of you sew? Yes. I sew. I. Uh, oh, yeah, we're with crochet. silver threads, aren't we? Yeah. Or you used to I be. I used to be. And that, yes. uh, but I do a lot of charity work and I teach crocheting at the barn, second and fourth oh. Wednesday of the month. Please come in and learn. Oh, wonderful. And uh, just generally, I, I try to learn harder and harder patterns mm -hmm. to keep the mind. Now you do that thing. at the barn. Yes, ma'am. And now how about at the township? Uh, there, now there's a, there's a crocheting group over there, if, if I'm Some not Some of our group Because they bring to it that. to yes. our meetings at Silver mm -hmm. Threads. They have this mountain of production. Fabulous stuff. It's really remarkable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's another thing. Do you know another thing they're doing now? Uh, the barn is having trips now that they didn't yes. used to have, as far yeah. as I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The CRC is having trips that we didn't used to have. And of course, the CR, not the CRC, the township is having now. Uh, are they the ones going to see Newsies at the Paramount? Oh, wow. That's yes, very nice. and that's, I believe that's the uh, township, and, the, and they're, um, because we enjoy that going to Drury Lane, we go to Marriott, we go, and now they're going to Paramount, so that is something, other that's things. That's been a wonderful gift Marina's mm -hmm. given us. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, and yes, I think out that and, is wonderful. And see other things. Mm hmm. Yeah, because we used to do that with St. Marceline Seniors okay. and Golden Circle, and then, mm -hmm. of course, they yeah. washed that away. Yes, they did. And you know, when you're seniors, you don't want to be going by yourself all the time with your car. No. So it helps to have a bus that you can hop onto. Mm -hmm. And now you were talking about the police academy. and Yes. Uh it is a wonderful organization. We support mainly the police department. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, the fundraising money goes into an angel fund. Mm -hmm. And that is used to buy safety equipment for the police and the K-9 unit. And uh, we volunteer for uh, public outings like a Memorial Day, Flag Day, the food drive, September Fest. Wow. So every dollar that we raise goes back into the community. Mm -hmm. And now um, they also work when we have that, uh, the, the uh, library has the, uh, the uh, for the seniors, scam the scam right. prevention. Yes. And that is supporting mm -hmm. the police department. Right, yeah. right. It's wonderful. Yes, well. I'm and we to... have monthly meetings, we have our board. And of no. course, everybody's invited to join because I see the It ads. is free of charge. Yes. They yes. have two sessions every year. And uh, you have to live or work in Schaumburg. If you don't live in oh. Schaumburg, contact your local police department. So they might have something equivalent. Okay. Oh. So it it's... is wonderful to go through. Mm -hmm. I also did the fi uh, uh, Citizen Fire Academy, but there was no 
association, no, no follow-up. They had a fire academy, too, that you could do? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. I did that, that in 2004. Oh, and wow. And the township had the sheriff's academy. Oh, well, what about you, Meg? Did you, have you done anything or considered anything like that? Well, I, I did some volunteering at the barn. Not enough, yeah. but mm -hmm. I'd like to do a little more volunteering from uh, time to time. Did, did, well, are, are any of you familiar with the Nature Center? I like the nature center. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, know, because we, we also volunteer over there. And then we have the Prairie Center that you can be an usher or oh, work in concessions. Right. Yeah. yeah, and they're always looking for volunteers. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's September Fest. Yeah. And it's, it's very rewarding when you volunteer because mm -hmm. otherwise you sit at home and, I mean, if you, yeah, well, well, it isn't just volunteering, but I mean, you got to have, you, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of this and a little, and, and it makes Healthier. Yeah, it makes yeah. life very interesting. Now, go ahead. But you have to get out of the house. Oh. Yes. You cannot just sit at home, yes. you know. And my reason for volunteering was, number one, I did not have my family around. I couldn't help my parents out. Mm -hmm. So the uh, patient visits were tailor-made for me. Right. You know? Wonderful. Right. And I'm so happy the way my life turned out, turned around after the divorce. And I'm so grateful, and I wanted to give back to the community. Well, now, how about your, how about your children? Uh, do they, are they involved in any of your activities since you no, retired? No, my son lives in uh, Indianapolis. Oh, oh so you're but far we away. we are very close. He mm -hmm. calls me every week. He's concerned about me, you know. Mm -hmm. And I make very sure that I don't make him feel responsible for me. Yes, yes. You went on a lot of trips when you first retired? I did some uh, bus tours with the German-American seniors while I worked. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I started traveling with the senior group, and like I mentioned, I mm -hmm. met my friend Ellie, and we got along so well. We were like an old married couple. And what happened to her? Well, we're still close, but, but she they had problems with her oh. knee, you know. Mm -hmm. She couldn't get around as well mm -hmm. anymore. So she felt guilty for holding me up, and I felt guilty if I did something where she stayed behind. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, instead of traveling overseas, we did... Uh, Mayflower bus tours. Yeah, there is a lot of bus tours. Is they it, pick well, you up at home, which yeah. makes it a lot easier. Yeah, well, see, it we do easier. diamond tours because yeah. that one is, you know, you park at certain places, but it's, it's more yeah. reasonable. Yeah. And, uh, but um, the buses we've had have been very nice, and the driver's wonderful. And that's with uh, uh, Mayflower, or which that's one? With the Schomburg, the ones that oh, Marina yes, chooses. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, Nature Center now, they also have a trip once in a while, and I heard it it fills up as soon as it opens, it's filled. Yeah. It's very really? popular, yeah. yes. Yeah, quite a few times uh, the park districts uh, offer some yes. outings, too. Mm -hmm. And periodically when I go there to register, they're filled up already. Well, you know what I heard about now? I, I, I'm, I'm almost sure this applies to the CRC, which it doesn't apply anyplace else. At the CRC, whether you live in Schomburg or out of the Schomburg area, you can participate. You can register. But yes. you don't have to pay extra. Right. And I think that's wonderful because every Most place else, you have to pay, pay extra. And mm -hmm. I don't think that's fair because, you know, if you're going to go someplace with a half-empty bus because people have to pay extra, yeah. wouldn't it be more practical to fill yeah. it up? The only well, you're th very wise. Well, I'm, th well, this is my impression of mm -hmm. it, you know, because sometimes you don't always have a full bus. Right. And the only criteria is they have to use the Schomburg people first, mm -hmm. which I think is... But that's why we live in Schaumburg. Yes. Because <laughs> oh, it's such a wonderful on. place to live, you know. Come on. I was always so impressed by the green spaces yeah. and, and the way the village mm -hmm. is administered, you know. Mm -hmm. Because I lived in Schaumburg the last two years of my marriage. Oh. And in back of my mind, I always had the desire to move back to Schaumburg. Well, where did you live before? Uh, after the divorce, I rented an apartment in Rogers Park because oh, I worked for G.D. Sell in oh, Skokie. Yeah. Yeah. See, in 1972, there was no transportation, no, and I had two teenagers. No. Yeah. You know. 
So and how then did when you my get... son was settled in college, I bought a condominium in uh, Des Plaines. So, but how did, nice now you were working people. in you were working in Motorola. How did you get to Motorola? Well. It was easier to get to Motorola from Des Plaines than it was from so Schaumburg. You had, so you did have to go. You stayed in Des Plaines while you worked in Motorola when you could have yes. moved to Schaumburg. I used to go to the retirement meetings with a friend of right. ours that retired. Yeah. yeah, you know, it was like being uh, retiring from the railroad. Mm -hmm. You know, you had all these people that went to work down the railroad. That was Motorola. There's so many. Re oh, okay. um, I used to go to ICL for retirees, and uh, a lot of those people used to work for Motorola. See, and they cut the uh, uh, retiree group out too. Yeah. Because we didn't have a, uh, a room. They used for to have nice yeah, meetings. they used to have nice meetings over there for the yeah. for the retirees. Now, when you retired, did you get any kind of a, of a going away or severance or no, I learned 2 years after I retired that they offered the severance pay for corporate employees, Only. which they never did before. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't care. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, you, money is money, mm -hmm. and you do what you have to do. And I never had a second's regret for, because I retired early and you got were, now, less of the social early, security. How early were you? How, uh, what, I was you were 62, 62 so, and retired. you were 62, and you were 65. 60, oh, so you went right to the limit. And, oh, yeah. And where no, did you retire from now? I, actually, it was a group of doctors that were in uh, Des Plaines and Mount Prospect. Oh, so you were a private industry, yeah. kind of speaking. Yeah, yeah the a smaller one. Privately, mm -hmm. uh, before that, I worked for Lutheran General as a... Uh, graphic artist. I was the only one. Really? Yeah. And I, what did you do? I As put a... together everything that had to be put on paper and printed. And it was fascinating. I loved it. Where did you get the knowledge to do that? Well, I was one of the first people that ever became a woman draftsman wow. for Western Electric. Western. So I've got a history from way back <laughs> in teak times. <laughs> And that I was one of 25 women that they chose. I was only 19. And, um, yeah, it was fantastic. And I worked on starched four by six feet um, cloth. It was starched oh. cloth. And then you, um, you had an electric eraser and that. And they used to bet on me, the guys. I didn't know it at the time how many mistakes I made because I made so few. Oh, so, see a woman thing, right? <laughs> that, was it. that was it. You have to be better because you were a, a woman. woman. <laughs> exactly. And, and we are better. Yes, of and course. Whatever a man can do, we can we do, can do better. We right? did. And how about you, Meg? What did you do on the job? Well, I had a lot of jobs. You did? What temporary did? jobs. Uh, I worked in an office a lot. Doing in clerk. Chicago or all, all over? over. Oh, yeah, a little bit in Chicago. I started off in a, in a medical clinic. And I really loved another that. one in the medical b yeah. line of work, but you didn't ago, stay. I was very young. Yes, and uh, I liked it, and they wanted to pro promote me to a manager. Wow! Which, you know, I was really happy about, but then I. And my daughter, so. Oh, you got pregnant, and yeah, yeah and that was the end of that, yeah, the right? End of that for sure. We Did you stay down home? Down. Yeah, we moved yeah. down here and we stayed home, and then I had my son, and I, you know, it was a homemaker. I liked it. So you, much. so how long did you work before you retired? Well. The last seven years. Seven. I mean, like all told, she worked forty-five years. Oh, okay. right, over forty-five. Well, Yes. On and off, I yeah. would say probably 10 years. 10 years altogether? Yeah. So, and then you retired. I had some part-time jobs when I was married. I didn't really need to work that much, mm -hmm. but just to get out when I was a little bit older. I and, just, and you worked how long? I wouldn't know. I was a mother. Did you take off years? when you had your children? Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, and then I was married and divorced and, mm -hmm. and married a second time uh, at a later date. And then I worked full time, mm -hmm. and I just loved being around people. So I so still you do. Are, yeah. So you, well, and that's one thing about being with the barn. You you you, oh, you can always yep. be around people. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to add something. Um, people who are 
thinking about retiring early, yes, they should do it. Yes. Oh, if you can There's afford so it financially, mm -hmm. go for it. You can meet in places you can yep. go. And right. It's just wonderful. I would never, I mean, I'm glad I retired early. Yeah. Well, you know, there, there's only one problem now. They're talking about changing Social Security. Yeah. And that's going to make it rough because even if you're, you know, if they raise the retirement age to 67 or if it's already been raised, already, I think. Yes. And then that means, you, to re, you know, we were able to retire at 62. That doesn't mean you can do that yeah. now no. because... Uh, so financial you, burden. Yeah, yeah, you got to have some kind of savings and stuff, mm -hmm. and that is, isn't always easy. And I don't think there's too many companies that offer pensions anymore. No, they don't. See, I kept my Motorola pension intact. Yes. You were oh, you did. Yes. You were and did blessed. you get a pension? No. No, did no. you get a pension? No. No, I didn't either. In the art field, you had to move every two or three years so that you would get a raise in pay mm -hmm. and more knowledge. Right. And one thing I did find, no matter what job I had, it was detailed. So therefore, when I went on to the next job, it was helpful to me that yeah. I yeah. was conscious Your of that. Your background, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I want well, to say when I left my job, I, I was, um, got the, uh, had a pension, but. Um, a severance? No. You put into it and the company. Oh, your 401k. Oh, the 401k. oh so they did offer that. Yeah. yeah. I, all the time I worked there, I put in money in. I had yeah. this little sum of money when I yeah. left. Yeah, so that was that was helpful. And th yeah, that does. Yeah, I had a severance because our job, my job, moved to Topeka, so oh, wow. I had. Yeah, it's either that or get married. So I got married. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, our time has come to an end. We want to thank Fran <laughs> and Elizabeth and Meg, and we would love to see you at the barn. Please call Marina at eight four seven five two four seven four nine six to make a reservation or sign up any day before coming in and stopping by to see the menu. And you all, we hope you're all blessed with good health and lots of happiness and come to the barn. Enjoy everything Schomburg has to offer. Thank you.